This video is sponsored by CodingSkill.net. Please visit our sponsor. Let's see selection sort in action. We are given this list of elements. We want to sort them in ascending order using selection sort. The pointer will point to the first element. The lowest number we have seen so far is 4. We will now move the index to the second element. We compare 2 with the lowest we have seen before this element which is 4. 2 is lower so it becomes the lowest. We then move the index to the third element and we again compare 7 with 2. 2 is lowest so it remains as the lowest. We then move the index to the next element and we check if 1 is less than the existing lowest. So lowest now becomes 1. We then move to the last element in the array and we compare 3 with 1. 1 is still the lowest. We will now swap 1 with the value at index 0. So given this array and these are the indices for those elements. We are going to swap 1 to the first part and 4 will go into the part taken by element 1. So we will have 1, 2, 7, 4, 3 as a result of the swap. 1 is now at the correct place. It is the lowest value in the array. So it goes to the first part in the array. Let's look at scan number 2. Index will begin from 1 because index equals 0 is already sorted. So this is the array at the end of the first scan. We'll start with index 1. The lowest we have seen so far is 2. And we will move the index to the next element. We will compare 7 with 2. 2 is still the lowest. We increment the index so it points to the next element. 2 is still the lowest so we go to the next element. 3 is not less than 2 so 2 is still the lowest. We have reached the end of array. There were no swaps in this scan. 2 is in the correct spot. So let's begin the scan number 3. The index will be 2 in the beginning. 0 and 1 is already sorted. So we start with the third element in the list. And the lowest we have seen so far is 7. We go to the next element. We compare 4 with 7. Now 4 becomes the lowest. And we go to the next element. We compare 3 with the lowest which is 4. And now lowest is 3 as a result of this comparison. We have reached the end of array, swap 3 with value at index 2. We need to move the last element with the element that is in the starting index. So given this list at the beginning of this scan, we will move 3 to this part and 7 will move to the last part. After swap, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. And at the beginning of scan 4, we will start with index 3 because 0, 1 and 2 are sorted. So the index will start from here. And the lowest we have seen is 4. And we compare with the next element. 7 is not less than 4. So the lowest remains at 4. There is no swap in this particular scan element in position 3 is in the correct spot. So the entire array is now sorted. So let's write code using recursion. What is the base case? When index reaches the size of the array we will terminate the recursion and the recursive case is when we sort the array in place so we will start with index 0 and we will process by applying the selection sort algorithm. 
a new recursive call. We will scan through the array and we will recurse with index incremented by one. So we move towards the base case to terminate the recursive call. So the method will take two parameters. The first one will be an array. The second one will be the index. So let's look at the source code for this. Before processing, we will print the array. We will set the lowest index as the index that was passed into our call. And if the index reaches array size minus one, we will terminate. This is the base condition. We will return the array because we have sorted the entire array. Otherwise, we will go from the index that was given to us in the method parameter and we will go all the way to the element that is before the last element because the next element will be pointing to one element before the index begins. So we cannot go beyond the end of the array since we have a leader pointer and a follower pointer. Follower can go only up to one element before the last element. And the leader element has to stop at the last element of the array. Here we check if the element that is next to the current element that the index is pointing to is less. We will modify the low to be i plus 1 because that element is less. We need to swap next. So we will check if the array of that particular in that location index that was passed into the method is greater than the value at the low index. We will swap those elements and we will just print after scan what is the result of the array. And then we will make a recursive call and we will increment the index by one. That's the end of the method. And let's run this uh, program and as you can see this is the initial value of the input after scan 1 1 and 4 have exchanged as parts and so this is 1 2 7 4 3 after scan 2 you can see nothing has changed it's still the same uh, because 2 is already in the right spot and before processing, we still have 1, 2, 7, 4, 3. After scan 3, 3 gets to the correct spot and it exchanges the spot with the 7. So 7 goes to the last spot. And before final scan number 4, we have this element and it's already in the sorted order. So we don't change anything in the array it's not swapped and we are done with the sorted uh, array that is returned as a result sign up for your free coding interview coaching call fuck sign up for your free coaching call by going to codinginterview.coach